Aries. Aries, welcome. Uh, for those that are returning, welcome back. We're going to do a general read for you today. We're going to look at your current energy, your desires, outcome, what's working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. We'll go through and we'll clarify each of those, and at the end of it, I will actually pull another three cards just to see if there's anything else that we need to know for you regarding this. So, Aries, let's see where your energies are lying or telling the truth. Ooh, Empress right off the top. Empress is possibly marriage, and this is in your current energy, so possibly somebody's looking at marriage. Um, Queen of Cups shows up in what you are hoping for or what your desires are. Queen of Cups is this wonderful, kind, thoughtful woman or energy. <clears throat> Ooh, and what the outcome is, is the Three of Swords. So, maybe you've made a choice between two people, uh, but I get that there uh, could be uh, some separation from the person that you are in love with. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands, which is working for you. So, in this particular card, it's like this individual is really trying to find their path and their way through. It's difficult. Um, so maybe you're putting a lot of energy into things. And then what you need to be aware of is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is that clarity uh, and success by thinking your way through uh, some type of issue. <clears throat> that said, let's go through. Let's start to clarify what's going on. Okay, why is the Empress here? Wow. So maybe you're thinking about marriage or some something similar. That there's a lot of um, there might be a major choice regarding this that comes up. Uh, but at the same time, it could it re could require that sort of um, how do I want to put it. Um, yeah, it could be an unexpected opportunity that comes up. And with this, maybe it's just something you've been thinking about, but maybe it's starting to show up. Uh, either way, once you make this major choice, um, things start to go in your direction. And that can cause uh, anxiety. Or maybe there's a lot of anxiety about this whole idea of marriage in general. <clears throat> This brings us to the Queen of Cups. This is an individual that seems to um, express their emotions easily. And it's clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the world. You can see that with this individual uh, it's really got you in your sort of feelings you can see that there's um, a lot of your wishes that you've wanted can be fulfilled with this person and working with this person you think that they can create uh, this world with you which is wonderful this brings us to the Three of Swords and the outcome. Why is the Three of Swords here? Ooh, conflict, conflict. It seems like something's not uh, done. Maybe there is somebody that you were involved with where things just aren't finished. It felt like they were done, but they're not. And things just aren't going to plan, and you're not really able to share what's going on with this person, possibly somebody that you actually rejected. Let's go into this Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands is clarified by the Three of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Moon. Uh, it's almost like you're trying to find your way to 
figure out the path that you should be on in order to heal, but it's just not coming around the way that you want it to. Um, it seems like there is just there's just too much. Um, yeah, it's almost like you're just not given that time to, to to sort of heal and figure things out because you're just not sure what's going on. This brings us to the Ace of Swords. Once you start to figure things out clearly in your head, you can begin a new life. And once you choose that direction, it starts to take off for you, uh, leaving a lot of the hardship um, behind. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Um, it seems that with this Knight of Swords, um, you're needing to it's like you're taking energy it's like you're taking action instead of staying the course it's chaotic action it's kind of like um, you're going in and sort of laying waste uh, to those that are around you and <clears throat> or you're just taking action and it just seems like you're all over the place um, rather than just sort of being steady with uh, what's going on. And people are really starting to notice whether that's in a positive way or a negative way. Maybe they think, hey, you know what, She's finally they're finally taking action or that you're finally taking action. And that's a good thing. Aries, that's what I have for you this week. Best of luck. Uh, I invite you to subscribe, like, dislike, comment. Either way, thank you for being here, and we will talk to you next time.